All right, what we looking at here is a Razer E325. I got this Razer E325 about a month ago, and I've been tinkering with it. Just shooting a little video, trying to give a little information on things that I did to make this thing go faster. This goes probably about 11 miles an hour, at least with me on it. I could do about 11 miles per hour top speed when I first got it. We bought these brand new. I have one and my wife has one. And uh, battery range was not very good. I could probably get maybe four miles before it would get to where it wouldn't hardly pull up a hill at all. Right now, what I got is uh, probably, I could do about 25 miles per hour on here now on flat ground. Going up a nice hill, I could run anywhere between 20 and 17 miles an hour uphills now. Before, I couldn't hardly go uphills at all with this thing. But these are some of the things that needs to be changed. I tinkered around with this. This is the stock speed controller. I messed with it. I looked at videos on YouTube. Didn't have much on making it do much of anything. But I did try some of the stuff on there. It helped out a, a little bit, but not much. So what I end up doing is going to a speed controller like this. This is a 24 volt. Right now I went up to a 48 volt speed controller in there now. So I change this out for one like this. I also changed out, this is the stop throttle that came on here and all you have is on or off, on or off don't have in between so what I did was I exchanged that and went to one of these throttles here to where you could twist the throttle and give it just a little bit of gas and work all the way up to a hundred percent and it also give you your battery reading over here and you also have a key to where you could turn it on and off with the key these work really good let me move some of this stuff out of the way Next thing I did was replace these batteries. I took these out. These here are lead acid batteries. And they have a 7 amp hour, I believe. Yep, 12 volt. 7 amp hour. Don't hardly last at all. Take these out. They are junk. They are complete junk. I replaced my batteries with these that I harvest out of. Uh, modules on uh, battery hookup www.batteryhookup.com I got these 18650 batteries I've, you gotta look these up because what happened is I ordered these red ones the first time these are Sanyo's and when I ordered these they were I'm going to say I want to say they produce about max four amps out of each battery and these here you can do 20 amps out of these here and they will run consistently at about 18 amps these here only runs about uh, 1.8 to 2 amps right in there consistent so this is going to really slow you down if you're trying to get speed you need to get something that's going to give you more speed these here were really reasonable I got seven of these for two dollars and fifty cent now they do have some that does 30 amps out of them consistent and I think the max on them is like 40 amps but they were a little bit more expensive and I wanted to try these out first okay the next thing I did this is the stock motor here I um, went with this 
This here is a 36 vote. Uh, 2800 RPM, 36 volt, 800 watts. This bad boy puts out some torque. When I got this here, I had to change the gearing on here because this thing, you would hit the throttle and it would pop a willy on you. So I had to change the, the gearing on here and I went back down because I had this motor. And to pull up hills, I went with a 65 rear sprocket, and it, and it had the stock 10-2 sprocket on there. So when I put this motor on there, I still had that same gearing, so I had to switch. So I took the 65 2 sprocket off, put the stock 55 2 sprocket back on, and went up one 2 sprocket on the motor here. And this bad boy gets it. I could run 25 miles per hour with no problem at all. So I changed the motor out, we changed the throttle out, and we changed the speed controller out. So let's look at what we got here. Okay, this here is my battery made out of these 18650s and what this is is a 48 volt well they call it a 52 volt I don't know why but they call it a 52 volt this is 52 a 52 volt setup I got my BMS right down in here on the side of the battery and what it is is this is 70 of these 70 of these 18650 batteries. So it's 70 of these in this bank. And it goes um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I got 5 of these batteries in series. So you got 5 of these in series. And then you got 5. I mean you got um, 14 of these in parallel. So that makes 70. So you got five here, five here, five here, five here, five here, five here, all the way up. So it's seven of them on this side, seven of them on this side. That makes 14. That gives you a total voltage at fully charge of 50, 58.8 volts, because these are 4.2 volts fully charged. So that's my battery. As you can see here, what I did was I took some aluminum stock and this was a half inch by one inch wide. I drilled the holes, I bolted the aluminum stock to the frame here and then I bolted the motor to the aluminum stock. So this motor is bolted to this aluminum and then the, the aluminum is bolted to the frame. And that made it to where I didn't have to cut any of my frame or hammer. A lot of the guys, let me set this camera up. A lot of the guys will take a hammer and smash this frame down right in here to raise this motor up so you can get up here to this mounting surface. So what I did was I just measured and seen how thick that it needs to be to keep this right at the frame level so you didn't have to smash this. I didn't want to have to smash my frame and I bolted it up right to there. So I relocated the kickstand. The kickstand used to be here. I relocated the kickstand right here so now the kickstand goes back on. Still looks stock. Still looks stock. Then I also, as you can see, let me move the camera down a little bit. I also put a rear rotor and caliber on the back and took the hood brake off. And that thing works really good. But let's get back to the speed mods. Here, let me give you a close up on that. That's how it looks. I made this bracket out of aluminum bolted the caliber to there, mounted the, um, I, I machined 
uh, aluminum spacer in the back right down in there Let's see right there and that is what the bolts go through the rotor and it bolts up to that aluminum spacer came out really good works really good let's get back now this here is a 40 volt 48 volt controller and uh, this 48 volt controller is I think the the low cutoff is 42 volts the max is of uh, 58.8 volts but I think the max is actually um, 65 volts is the max the operating range is from 50 from 58 down to 42 at least on this battery here so that's what we got guys um, trying to think anything else that I left out um, let me set this camera down again yeah so basically the rundown so I won't be getting a bunch of questions this is the stock one take this thing off throw it away replace it with one of these these run about $20, 22 to $25 for these. You can get them on eBay. Go to eBay, look it up. You can find it on there. Uh, this stock motor here, I overvolted this stock motor from 24 volts and overvolted it to 36 volts. It did pretty good. It raised the top speed up to about 20 I'm gonna say about 20 miles an hour I could get but it still didn't pull hook heels too good if you want to pull some heels you need to get up to something like this this right here is 24 volts uh, 250 watts I put a 350 watt motor on there with 24 volt it didn't do pretty much nothing I used it uh, the the 350 watt motor and the 36 volts that did pretty good that did pretty good but it's nothing like this boy here so if you really want to pull heels and have some good top speed this is what you need right now I'm in the process of changing the the sprocket on the motor Right now I got 11 tooth and I want to go up to a 13 tooth on the front and that should put me somewhere around 30 miles per hour top speed but I don't know how we're going to pull heels after that but this thing needs to be a little taller gearing because it still jerks you pretty good when you get on the accelerator and it will still pop that wheel up off the ground if you turn it too fast and I'm a 200 pound guy so other than that guys I think I said all I want to say I'm going to make some more videos because I've been on YouTube looking around and I can't really find too much of anything that really explains and go into detail and everything on what works what doesn't work what was the best so that's what I'm trying to do here now another thing that I wanted to to say is this motor here I have been on trips non-stop average speed between 20 and 22 miles per hour and I have been like 12 miles and uh, haven't had any problems. Like I said, this is over voltage. This is a 36 volt. This is a 52 volt battery bank. I call it a 48, but they say that it's a 52. So I'm going to use the terms that they use on the internet. It's 52 volts. Now, um, I have been on, man, at least six trips of uh, 10 miles or more. And this gets a little warm, little warm. That's it. This thing was getting really hot when I had it over voltage to 36 volts, and it didn't 
didn't pull too good, especially on heels. On flat surfaces, like I said, you can hit about 20, about 20 miles an hour. This thing here with the gearing that it has now, the stock rear, one tooth up on the front, I'm hitting 25 miles per hour with no problem. And like I said, I can go up hills at between 17 and 20 miles an hour up hills. So I lose between five and seven miles per hour going up hills compared to this thing here would break me down till about seven miles an hour, or maybe five going up the hill and at 36 volts I could go up the hill about maybe between 12 and 14 miles an hour not with this one excuse me not with the stock one that was with the 350 watt motor 24 volts 36 volt battery bank but guys I'm gonna keep you posted on this and uh, yeah I'm gonna I'm gonna get off of here now you have a good one